Today, we're gonna make ooey gooey lobster mac and cheese. It's delicious, let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham, and today, we are making a highly requested lobster mac and cheese, baby. That's right, we got delectable Old Bay Spice Lobster swimming in cheese pools of macaroni. It's gonna be ridiculous, I promise. Hey, I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving with your family and friends, and if you didn't, well, we're family, so let's run it. Before we do it though, please go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment in the sections. You know I'm always down there like, hey, hey yo, yo, what's up? Hey, lobster mac and cheese. I got nothing else to say besides B roll. All right, the ingredients you're gonna need for this mac and cheese are, I'm using cavatappi pasta. I've got leftover extra sharp and medium cheddar, so instead of buying a whole new block, we're gonna use these. Instead of Gruyere, I'm using Fontina today. It was in the fridge, I don't want it to go bad, and we're gonna experiment, we're gonna see how it is. Some fresh parm right off the wheel, garlic, unsalted butter, some Philadelphia cream cheese, Dijon mustard, I've got two lobster tails, smoked paprika, Old Bay seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, a whole ass nut, Meg, do you smell that? It's flour. All right, before we jump into the prep work, I just wanna let you know, just because it's lobster mac and cheese and it sounds fancy, doesn't mean it's hard to make. If you've been here before and you've made cheese sauce and macaroni with us, you know it's very easy. It literally just consists of macaroni, cheese sauce, and then all we're gonna do is add some lobster that we're gonna season. It's gonna be very easy. Let's go. All right, first thing we're doing is filling up our pot. That way we can get it on the burner. Thanksgiving's over. I'm gonna make a nice personal one. I'm gonna cut my recipe in half. If you wanna double it, double it, but yeah, we're just heating up the water right now. All right, so quarter cup of flour. Go ahead and get that set to the side. So we're half in the original recipe and modifying a little bit. We're gonna start with cheddar. We're gonna do one cup of cheddar. I'm just gonna do half a cup of sharp and half a cup of medium. That way I can run through both of these things and get them out of the fridge. So here we go. Half a cup extra sharp into the bowl. And like a psychic that's trying to get ripped, we're gonna go ahead and shred this medium. Medium cheddar. All right, so normally I do Gruyere. It's a nice little stinky, Swissy kind of cheese, but today we're gonna do Fontina instead because you only get better if you experiment, right? So, okay, it's still got a little like stinky cheesiness to it. So we're gonna do half a cup of this. I'm just gonna shred it up real quick. All right, Fontina going into the bowl, there we go. And lastly, look at this real quick. You see that, the rind of the cheese, that is fresh off a real cheese wheel. Parmigiano Reggiano, we're going half a cup of this. I don't normally put this in my cheese sauce, but today I feel like it goes well with some lobster, that saltiness, it'll be good, here we go. All right, and half a cup of parm going in. All right, all the vampires around are running. You know what time it is. We got some garlic. I got three cloves here. All we're gonna do is chop the butt off, give it a spank, peel that shell off, then we're gonna hit it with some fine lines, opposing lines, a fine chop, scoop it on up into the mother bowl. All right, so right here we've got some Irish butter. I don't even know if that was the right accent, but that's what we got. We got Irish butter right here. And what I'm gonna do with this is, we're gonna use half of it for our roux, and the other half is gonna be for our lobster, okay? So there's two sticks. Now we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna use half a stick for our lobster, half a stick for our roux. Now let's cut this lobster up. Now y'all know I don't like fish on my wood. So I got a little plastic cutting board right here. Now listen, with these lobsters, check it out. We're gonna do this real simple. We're just gonna cut them up into pieces and cook them in some butter and seasonings. Very, very easy. Look, all you have to do is just come through with your knife. Beautiful, just like that. And now look at that. You got a little bit of lobster right inside and then we just stick our finger in there and pull that meat out. That is one lobster half, two lobster halves. That's a whole lobster. And gentle taps until we break through and then we give it one big pop, just like that. That. Easy peasy pumpkin pie kissed the girl and made her cry. You would get canceled for that nowadays. Whoever wrote that story, you can't just kiss a girl and make her cry. That ain't how it works. Anyway, all right, we got our lobster pieces. We're gonna line them up nice and even, get the little shells out of there, and then we're just gonna go like this. Look, we got a little bit right here. Boom, boom, just like that. Little chunks of lobster. Imagine this in your mac and cheese. Boom, little chunks. All right, we got everything prepped. Now let's 
hit the stove. All right, somebody told me my mic sounds better if it's down here, so we're trying it out today. But here we are over at the stove, and this is what your setup is gonna look like. All right, over here we've got everything for our cheese sauce, our seasonings, our spices, our cheese, our butter, you see it all. Next to that, I've got a deep saucepan that I'm gonna make my roux in. I've got my pasta water boiling in the back. Next to that, I've got a small skillet. We're gonna cook our lobster up in that, and then as you can see, we've got the ingredients for our lobster. All right, so let's start with the lobster, get that out of the way, very, very simple. We got a little pan here. We're going down on a medium heat and we're gonna take half of that stick of butter and pop it in. We're gonna let that melt. Look at me in my eyes real quick. When I tell you this lobster is gonna cook fast, it's gonna cook quick. It's not gonna take long. So check me out, we're going in here. You can see we got some bubble action going. Lobster is going straight in, just like that. And then we're just gonna spread it out. We're just gonna let this cook in that butter. But wait, I almost forgot. We gotta season this stuff. Now me personally, I think, Mm, a little bit of Old Bay goes a long way with some butter and lobster. It just kind of goes hand in hand. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some Old Bay on this lobster, on this butter, and then I'll also do some black pepper. We're gonna crack it in just like that. Now Old Bay's got a good amount of salt in it, so I'm not too worried about salt. And then we're just gonna keep this lobster moved. Go ahead and move it around. As you can see, as soon as we flip it over, it's nice and opaque right there. You see that it's cooking. Look, we can see that it's already cooking down real nice and easy. That Old Bay, that butter smells great. And don't be afraid. Listen. We got a cheese sauce with a lot of flavors, so don't be afraid to go in with a little bit more Old Bay to some pop from the lobster bites, okay? Go in with a little bit more. Again, we're just gonna mix, move things around. It's gonna cook quick. All right, now I would say we're almost there. We've probably been going for about a minute and a half and we're almost fully cooked. So now I'm gonna go in with my garlic. That way my garlic doesn't burn and it's all done cooking at about the same time. And this is what's really gonna amp this up. Give us some beautiful flavor. Got our garlic and our butter, Old Bay, salt, pepper. This is what dreams are made of, folks. Look, I didn't give this any more than 45 seconds. That garlic is nice and aromatic. The Old Bay is just pungent in the air. The lobster is nice and cooked. And remember, it's going into a nice hot cheese sauce so it'll continue to just kind of heat up in there so all i'm gonna do is with the butter we're just gonna go ahead and carefully <gasps> scoop that lobster in and all that garlic don't forget the garlic and we're just gonna let it swim in here back into a pool it's just not the ocean all right so you got your garlic old bay lobster give it a smell oh ridiculous now we're gonna go ahead and take our butter on a nice low heat okay we don't want this to burn or cook too quick we got it on a nice low heat we're going into our saucepan and we're gonna wait till this melts completely. All right, so our butter's melted. Yeah, it's a little hot. We're gonna make it work though. We got our flour. We're going in. All right, now check this out. This is gonna turn into almost like a glue. Get it off that heat real quick. That's a little hot. There we go. This is almost gonna turn into like a, like a thick paste. But what we wanna do now is get it back on the heat. I just didn't want it to burn because now we gotta cook the flour taste out of the flour. So we're going back on a low heat. We're just gonna let this darken up just a little bit for the next minute or two. All right, so as you can see, the roux is starting to darken up a little bit, right? Like that color's getting just a little bit darker. We're just trying to cook that raw flour flavor out of it, like I said. Okay, and then once it starts smelling nice and buttery, it's almost gonna smell like kind of like a toasted bread. That's when we come in with our milk. We're just gonna slowly add some room temperature milk in here and mix, okay? The reason why we don't wanna do cold is because we're gonna drop the temperature on this too much. Still on a nice low heat. Look, now we went from paste, now we got some dry mashed potatoes. Now we're going in with a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, now we got a little fluffy mashed potato. Here we go, here's a little bit more. Look at that, now we got Outback mashed potatoes. Keep mixing it in. After this next one, we're gonna be in a good spot. Watch this, okay? Get it around from those edges. Here we go. Now we got like a nice paste and we're almost there. Going with a little bit more. We're gonna mix. All right, look, y'all see how much milk I've used? It's hard to see, but you know, I used about three quarters of this and this is the consistency that we're at right now. Check this out, okay? It's like a nice thick but stringy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna add just a pinch more because then the cheese is gonna go in and that's gonna thicken it up. A pinch more, I just want you to see where I get this to. A nice slow whisk, that way we're not splashing. We can start working it in a little bit more. All right, this is beautiful, right here, okay? All right, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna add some nutmeg on a micro plane. All right, I'm just gonna go in. It just makes it taste more cheesy. And then I'm slowly gonna add a little bit of cheese in at a time or else it's gonna thicken up on you and you're gonna be annoyed. So then we go, we just mix that in, we keep it on a low heat. We don't wanna get too hot, that way things don't break. I'm gonna do this whole thing. And then I'm gonna add my cream cheese. The cream cheese is still a little cold, so I'm gonna wait till the end so I don't drop the temperature of that. But we're gonna add this whole thing in a little bit at a time, whisk when it melts, add more. All right, check it out. Our cheese is melted, right? We got all our shredded cheese in there. Beautiful, a nice cheese sauce. Now I'm gonna go in with half a block of our Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm gonna pop that into segments real quick, into little cubes. And then we're gonna go ahead and just whisk this in until it melts. And then after that, we can start to season and 
can adjust consistency however we want. So I'm just gonna literally mash it down and then mix. All right, so our cream cheese just melted. Hey, we gotta cook this pasta. So we're gonna do half this box right here. Follow me real quick. We're going in there. We got a nice little boil going on. We're going half a box. Woo, fireworks. There we go. There we go, half the box. We're gonna give that, don't forget to give it a little mix because you don't want anything to stick when it initially goes in. So there we go. And uh, now it's time to season our sauce. So check it out right here. We got our cheese sauce. There's something very important I gotta tell you guys. If you have your heat up like this, you're gonna break your sauce. It's gonna get gritty. A lot of people have commented that say that their sauce always gets like grainy and gritty. That's why, because you're breaking all the fats in the sauce. As you can see, this is nice, it's beautiful, it's silky. So now we gotta season this thing. So first thing I like to do is go in with a little bit of Dijon, I don't know what just came out of there, but we're gonna be all right. I should have did like half a teaspoon. All right, so the camera didn't record this part, but we put in about a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and we also did a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Again, just follow this and then we'll taste if we need more. All right, I'm doing another little pinch of salt. Mix that in, taste. That tastes good, I'm not gonna lie. I like the texture, I like the consistency, but I wanna spice it up a little bit. We're going for a seafood lobster thing. There we go, quarter teaspoon of Old Bay. Gonna give this a nice little mix. On and off the heat, remember, we don't want it to get too hot. That's good, that's good stuff. And remember, when we throw our pasta in there, we're gonna get a lot of flavor, but also, look at all this beautiful garlic, this butter, the lobster that's gonna be infused in that mac and cheese. We're really gonna get some nice bright pops of flavor from there. Again, season to taste. If you want a little saltier, go saltier. If you want more garlic and onion powder, go garlic and onion powder. You can put whatever you want in here. I'm happy with this. We're gonna wait till the pasta is done boiling. And we're gonna put everything together. All right, we gotta test our pasta. It's been about nine minutes. Is it hot? Ooh. It's done. All right, let's drain this. All right, here we go. Now, right now, what we're doing is two things. We're multitasking. So not only are we draining our pasta, but we're also creating a steam bath for our face. We're gonna open those pores up and then we're gonna moisture up. Oh, wrong channel, sorry. All right, listen, I'm not baking it. I'm not doing a crust on top because I just like a nice goop. When I say goopy mac and cheese, I like a nice goopy mac and cheese. Look at this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit B-roll right now. We're gonna put this whole thing together. We're gonna finish it off with some fresh chives. I forgot to put that in the ingredients. Sorry, but let's do it. All right, you hear the spooky music. We're going in for a taste test. I'm gonna do the first bite without the lobster, so it's just the mac and cheese, and then we'll do the lobster. Three, two, one. Mm. Oh man, I'm still getting hints of the garlic butter in there, so I know with the lobster, it's gonna be fire. So here we go, grab a couple, oh, that cheese though. Three, two, one. All right, so as you can see, me and Jamari had to sit down and spend some quality time with this lobster mac and cheese. When I tell you guys, this is bursting with flavor. The, the cheese sauce is perfect. The noodles are cooked perfectly. The garlic butter that's in there just elevates the flavor. And the actual lobster bits with the Old Bay just gives like the perfect amount of pop to it that just makes it literally the perfect like side dish for your family for the holidays. This thing is fire. Star scale, five stars, you already know. Hey, if you're still watching, I appreciate you still watching please scroll down hit the like and subscribe button since you're still here and drop a comment let me know should i do a crab mac and cheese switch up the seasoning so we're not doing old bay completely different vibe you let me know hey my name is farnham this is more seasoning this is some fire lobster mac and cheese we out